Hi, I'm Vince Weston, and uh, bombarding you people uh, this week with uh, videos for a guy that normally does them once a month. Um, but this is uh, my next build. Uh, I actually had decided on this uh, a week ago, but uh, I postponed doing anything about it <clears throat> until the model show was over. And that'll be my last mention of that. <laughs> anyway, so this one is is the Picarin Auto Gyro in 148th scale. It's it's manufactured by the Williams Brothers. Um, they're kind of a small niche manufacturer, I guess you could say. Uh, they do what they call the Golden Age series, more than anything else, which is the uh, Pretty much aircraft from pre-World War II, mostly 30-ish type stuff. Um, they're a small manufacturer. They, you know, they don't do that many. Uh, here on the side, you can see some of the stuff that they do. Uh, there's the Northrop Gammon, Gamma, excuse me, uh, the Douglas uh, World Cruiser. And I, though both of these are in 172nd, uh, a Ford Fliver, I have that kit also, which is 148th, and a Corbin Super Ace. Uh, here on the other side is a couple of their 132nd scales, um, which is uh, the GBR1, that's the red one, racing plane. Uh, the Wendell Williams, which was another racing plane for, uh, I think it was Gilmore. And uh, Siversky uh, P-35. And then they also make the uh, GB-1 in the yellow and black. Uh, a couple other shots on the back of a couple other kits that they manufacture. I'll, I'll let you peruse all those. Uh, they also make engine kits of Pratt and Whitney, uh, Wright, and etc. Uh, etc. Et anyway, and machine guns. Um, so, oops, that's a little tour around the box uh, for someone who's never seen one of these kits. Um, the one thing about. Uh, Williams Brothers kits is um, uh, there's a lot of additional um, detail work that you kind of have to scratch build yourself and I'll get into that in a moment but um, as you can see here I can't even quite get it all in there let's see maybe if I lean it that way well whatever uh, this is the instruction sheet at least the graphical side, in which they show a couple of pictures. Uh, down here is an exploded view of the build. Um, and then up here is uh, paint guides and decal guides for the sides of the planes. And then kind of a split overview look of um, the civilian and uh, the Navy version and then a front view. Uh, most of this just tells you you know where to put certain things and what where rigging goes and stuff like that. The instructions on the back are actually uh, the instructions of construction and how things can be put together and it's not pictures it's all just in writing um, uh, of course, with a, a, a history of, of the craft. Um, I'm kind of going through these things a little backwards, but anyway. As you can see here, uh, this is the decal sheet for producing either the U.S. Navy version or um, the Champion version, which was uh, recently was restored for Picarin's uh, son and is now in a museum. Uh, there's also a couple of loose pieces down here that I put stuck in the bag. 
so I didn't lose them. Uh, as part for the detailing, and I don't know if I can get this in an angle that it'll even be viewing, uh, they give you the monofilament you would need and a piece of wire. So you can do the scratch building of the rigging from what's provided. Looks pretty useful. Uh, now for the plastic. Uh, there are only two sprues, so gee, you would think it's a pretty simple kit. Um, let's see how much of this I can get in here. Um, there's definitely some flash to them over here, you can see. Um, but uh, they, they work out pretty well. This is your whole wings, top and bottom. <clears throat> Two of the four um, props, I guess you could call them, for the overhead of the auto gyro. Uh, the fuselage side and parts for the, uh, the engine and the propeller. Um, and some of these go up to the uh, props on the top. <clears throat> and then the second sprue is kind of redundant to the first, um, with the, the elevator, the landing gear, part of a wheel, uh, the other fuselage have, the other two, see some more flashing in there, and then uh, parts for the gyro. And these are actually seats, uh, and depending on which version you build, you either put in a two-seater or a single-seater in the front. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the, the clear plastic part, which I don't know. Oh, there it is. It, it is in this bag. Uh, they give you a piece of acetate and a template so that you can cut out uh, the windscreen. So, as you can see, it looks pretty simple, but it doesn't really. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of extra work is going to have to go into this to, to really finish it. Additionally, um, I'm not going to finish it in either one of these. Uh, several years ago, I saw a picture, which is probably the op one of the opening ones, of the two-tone two blue with the red stripe. And I was kind of inspired when I saw that, that I always wanted to build a diorama to go with this, with that. So, the diorama is going to probably be off in the future a little bit. I just want to get the, the auto gyro built first. And uh, then we'll see how inspired I get to, to keep working on it. As you probably could see, it, it's kind of a complicated uh, diorama to say the least okay so that's about the size of it um, that's my introduction for this so I'll say see you later <laughs> have fun bye bye